Hi guys, iPhone Punk here. Um, today we are going to come back to Skyrim on the Mac Mini late 2012 and put it into a little bit more pressure. Right now I've been playing this game for a good bit on the Mac Mini and enjoyed every bit of it. Um, just going to stick on my controller. Um, we are running Windows 7 uh, Ultimate Edition because uh, I just changed this, be I just changed the whole aerial mode off because it's just a waste of frame rate, so it is, and I don't need it, or you, it doesn't give me any pleasure in looking at it either. So, um, basically, what we have here is Skyrim. I'm going to go into data files. These are all the mods. Hope you can see them. And these down here are just ones that don't work properly. Um, but these ones here all work together perfectly. Um, I can't tell you off the top of my head. I think there's about 30 or 40 mods um, here. I think it's about 30 mods going all on the same time. A lot of them, there's a few islands, there's a few uh, ecstatic mods that change water. Um, pretty much the I have this on my old video I think I showed the uh, resolution on that uh, the resolution is still running at uh, 1600 by 900 anti-aliasing is off and uh, filtering is off uh, aspect ratio is 16 by 9 widescreen graphics card is, or graphics adapter is the same HD graphics 4000. Uh, we're pretty much run this on medium to high. Um, go to advanced. We have reflection land on water on, reflection of trees on water on, reflection of objects on, uh, reflection of sky on, and that's the water settings. Uh, FXAA is ticked. Uh, we got uh, texture quality on high, uh, radial blur quality low, um, shadow detail medium, and decal quality uh, or quantity medium. Uh, view object fade on medium uh, eight, uh, light fade on twenty two, uh, actor fade on seven. Grass fade on four, and um, these are pretty much just medium all round. Uh, item fade on six, distance of objects, object detail high, uh, object detail fade, and that's ticked as well. So it's relatively high for it'd be beyond what the Xbox could handle, so it is uh, graphics wise. The graphics of an Xbox would be medium to low between them two. This is running on medium to high so plus it's gonna have all these mods running in the background and the water mod looks ten times better than the even the highest uh, the highest that the normal H full extreme uh, version uh, can look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the game. Um, by the way if you know what if you're not a big modder, um, I do suggest I've only started modding over the last month, and the game is a lot of fun when you got a few mods in it. Uh, I've only I've only gone halfway through the game altogether so far, so we're just gonna, as you may see, with the reflection and the light, um, it is a lot better than the Xbox model or the Xbox version. I mean, sorry. And yeah, just showing off lighting effects. Uh, also, I'd like to apologize for the quality of the video because um, if it is a bit low, I'm recording on my iPhone 4S. So I do apologize preemptively. Uh, one thing I do have to complain about is the load times. Look at the sky.
Right, so mods I have running. Um, I am able to have two companions running around with me. Um, I'm able to command her to do whatever I want, like uh, I'll go on the tweak option. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm able to change her gear, change her type of combat magic, uh, poses, info, and all that type of stuff. Um, she's a Khajiit. Uh, you can't get a Khajiit um, uh, companion apparently, so I downloaded this uh, Khajiit companion mod because of my running style and I run like a cat now because I'm also using a Khajiit um, character. I've never used Khajiit before. The only problem is it changes everyone, all my companions, to run the exact same. Anyway, I've never used a Khajiit before because I never liked Khajiit. But uh, since I started playing around with the Khajiit, um, I find that it's a lot more fun to play with. With you know, well, my gaming style, sneaking and uh, sneaking around and all that type of stuff. Also I've got my beast mode. I've changed him to to suit my guys. Um, my Khajiit uh, is now a tiger werewolf which is kinda cool. And as you may see, I'm not losing any frame rate with all these mods all these mods added. Uh, better run away from Riften, just in case I destroy anything. That's. Uh... Well, actually, I just won't save it. We've also got. Uh, Also got a bit of animation here with the Pretty cool mod. I do like the way. I do prefer having a different kind of transformation. It doesn't make sense for a cat to look, for even an Argonian to look like a normal, a normal werewolf. I didn't find it very. I don't know. It didn't seem right to me. I know a human should be able to transform into a werewolf, but if a beast creature thing can. Uh, Changing its into its tone kind of transformation. I don't see the point. So that's why I went fishing for this. Anyway, time to escape. I think there's a dragon around somewhere. Right, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna show you a bit of the water effect. Okay guys, um, I'm back. Uh, I do apologize for the camera angle. Um, for some reason the stand isn't working properly. Anyway, um, here's a little bit of water mod uh, add-on. It does look a lot prettier than the original mod. Even the swimming. All the fish. Now, to be honest, I know a lot of people out there are going to go, my big giant gaming rig can do the full ultra with all the mods. But this video, I'm going to get thumbs down. I've been getting thumbs down lately for no reason. I'm not sure why. It's purely informational, not Mac fanboyism. But um, as a machine, specs and everything, it is running games quite well. Surprisingly well. 
uh, in most cases. As you may see, uh, the mod that I added, Moss Rocks, I think it's called. Um, it's it's just all these add-ons, extra processing power that's going to be going towards this little machine. That's just um, that's uh, this little machine is able to handle mostly. Um, and this is still just the base model machine, so it is this not a uh, modified in any way, this is the 4 gig model i5 base model Mac Mini. Frame rate is quite stable, I think it's about 30 to 40 frames a second. Uh, I've already tested this part before. Beautiful little waterfall effect, as you may see the trees are all reflecting off the with, with the sky, the white of the water splash, that's the mod coming in through that and everything it's just a very no drop of frame rate while while fighting as you may see there not even a high rank, I'm just rank 17, but it's it's a very good machine, the Mac Mini, and uh, it's one of the best Mac Minis out there, even comparing it to the last model with the dedicated ATI graphics card, it can rival it, the base model can rival it quite well. Um, We'll go into. There's one thing that uh, really does give this computer a bit of a test is one spell. Uh, it's a summoning spell called Blaze. And it's my steed. Blaze. Gives you a whole new animation. Gives me a horse as well. So, Blaze is my new steed. No loss of framework. This uh, he also gives off an ambient light and also these footprints of flaming fire, uh, smoke and steam. Really, this horse is pretty much a benchmark in its own right. Um, oh yeah, my my guys can now ride horses <laughs> as well. Um, but as you may see. It's a very very cool mod and if you are willing to mod your game uh, the, the mod's called Blaze, Blaze, that's it and that's the name of the horse and if I wanted to unsummon him he's also uh, pretty cool just press the same way as I summoned him, unsummon him uh, the lighting that comes off him he makes a good torch at night so he does so he does make his own light. Um, I discovered something there. Anyways, if you have any comments, please add them all. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and um, thanks, guys, for watching my video. This is an update on Skyrim on the Mac Mini Lake 2012. Thanks guys, bye.